We had seen this particular horse. We stopped, we stopped the guy on the road uh, when, it was, when it was harnessed up, just to talk initial sort of introduction to people when we first got it. The first weekend we got it before any training started. And we invited uh, that owner and that horse to come to the farriers, to come in and get the horse's feet looked at. As soon as that harness came off, they saw the, the worst wounds of any of the horses they'd seen here. When they first saw that, we were just around the corner uh, in the workshop and they said, please come and have a look at this horse and see what we can, we can do for this. The rudimentary saddle tree, as you can see, is going to put downward pressure on the top of the spine and cause this type of injury. Prolonged use has, has, um, has caused this, um, but when it is infected as well, which is often the case with open, open wounds like this, it just becomes a much bigger problem. This needs immediate veterinary care. Um, we can try and pad things around this to avoid pressure on the existing wound, but this, this needs veterinary care to be stitched back up. Uh, she's still working, still pretty bright looking, as, as even um, with the type of injury she has, she has got, but hopefully we can, we can do something for her. We, we wanted to take action as, as quick as possible with getting some kind of remedy to fix that uh, particular problem. I knew what I needed to do. I've seen the types of saddle trees they, had, they, they are used, what they do like and what they do use locally. There's no equine veterinary help at all in this area. So we're just gonna try and uh, put a pad, uh, a wound pad over the injury, around the injury, and then try and add a, um, a driving pad, a good, uh, good quality driving pad um, on, on her to try out. I've got some more adjustments to make, just, just measured really around the size of the wound. And I'll take this line down a bit further. So there's no chance of that touching any of the, uh, the, of the injury. I'll also in tell the, the owner to bring that pad up so it's not tight on the wither, only part of the back. And I'll, I'll minimise how much uh, material I'm using. So I don't want any, um, any unnecessary material causing any sort of um, reason to, to heat her up too much. I'll just get the saddle. This is, this is a locally uh, found saddle made to a good, good standard. I'm obviously very interested in avoiding any sort of pressure anywhere near the wound. But I'll pull that pad up there. I've got, as I've, as I've mentioned, I've got to take a bit more off that inside um, edge so it's nowhere near. But I'm going to have to build these, uh, the, the side bars of this saddle on the panels because I, I've not got a... Um, a decent bearing surface uh, on this on this particular one. So I'm gonna, I'll take this away and build this up uh, in this area, so we get a good uh, broad bearing surface. Even though it was a narrowish fit um, on, on on that grey mare at that time, um, was still too wide. So I had to still make adjustments to the uh, to the to the height of the arch and the and the angle of the uh, the, the side bars um, for it to create a good bearing surface on the back. I didn't I didn't, didn't want to create anything. Um, that could cause a problem with that particular horse, even though I was trying to fix obviously the glaring problem that was in front of me. The work has taken a, f a fair while, um, and hopefully the owner has seen the, the, the improvement that this, this saddle should give. We might need to build it up a little bit more just to guarantee we got full clearance over that, over that injury. Um, but I'm happy with the improvement compared to what it was the tree before, it was just an apex with a piece of wood across and that wood was just on a daily basis, eight, nine hours a day. It's just cutting into that, into that wound um, every single working day she's doing. So I'm happy with the, with the improvement we've done so far. A lot, lot more to do, um, but it's a step in the right direction. We're finishing here. This is module one in, in Honduras and we're gonna, we're gonna follow her story and catch up with her in November and Hopefully add, some, add more, more to the harness, breast collar hopefully, britching, um, and improve the, the bridle as well. We've met her and the owner on each module ever since we've been here, and this is the fifth one now. And we did see an, an initial uh, Im improvement, a fantastic improvement in about 10 weeks from when we came back for the next, for the next module. We don't want that just to be a quick fix uh, with someone. You've got to tell that owner exactly what we're doing what those principles of fitting that saddle are 
uh, how they're going to fit the rest of their harness because that horse ended up with a complete set of harness after that initial saddle fit and we don't want that to be a flash in the pan we want that to continue has he had any further problems has it has it had any other knock-on effects which i didn't see um, again down to communication with the owners this is a mare we saw exactly a year ago she came down to where the farriers were working near the training center and they called us over to, to show us the wounds there was a particularly large wound here and there's one further back on the wither um, to, to see this healed and the way it has healed and even the hair growing back is, is just amazing. Her general condition has improved as well, even she's still quite slight now, but from where she was before, it's, it's a massive improvement. Renee's done a great job of listening to what we've got to say and hopefully can tell other people as well that this is a, this is a shop front example of what we, of what we do. The, the, with the help of the, the wound control pad, the cut out pad and the correct fitting of the, of the saddle itself. Has done, a, has done a fantastic job. Uh, to see that wound to go from where it was um, to where it is now is, is, is fantastic. In a, in a short time, the, the work of the teams on behalf of World Horse Welfare, all the guys from the UK, the owners in the communities, especially the students as well, have done a fantastic job in, in, in a short time. But it's just the beginning of what we, of what we can do. This is an excellent, ex, excellent example um, of a horse's condition improving, the harness improving, simple effective changes to the, to the, whole, to the whole picture, the cart with the adaptions as well. Um, if people can see it in, for real for themselves, they can, they can start to believe that changes are possible in, the, in their communities.